your 2023 Ironman Florida run course, 26.2 mile two loop course, traverses the coast and features scenic views and vibrant cheering sections. It's one of the flattest run courses on the Ironman circuit. It's filled with breathtaking views of the Emerald Coast waters along the shoreline and capped in dramatic fashion with huge crowds at the spectator friendly finish line in Pier Park. Again, two loops and elevation gain, not much at all right there along the ocean front. What's your take on the Ironman Florida run course? In training, make sure you are able to run on a paved bike path slash concrete type of terrain to get your body used to that harder surface. Coming from a love of trail running, I had to make myself say, okay, today you're going to do your 16 mile run on the concrete, and then you're going to treat yourself to a four mile run on the trails because I just had to, I'm glad I did that. I had to allow my body to get used to the course specific terrain on flat, tough surface. And I was able to work on my pacing and my nutrition. And I had all that dialed in before the race. So it's very, again, it's always beneficial if you can to always train on the terrain that the course is going to provide. For this particular course, you know, it's two loops. So it's about a six and a half mile out, six and a half mile back. And then you do that again, very spectator friendly. My family was at the four and a half mile marker point. That's where our condo was. So they waited for me there. So they got to see me at four and a half miles. And then they got to see me again at about um, just eight miles. And then and then I, I ran to the turnaround and then they got to see me um, again. And then after they saw me that third time, they got in a car and they met me at the finish line. So, you know, depending on where you're staying, most people will stay along the run course and be able to see their athletes from outside their hotel or condo or home that they're staying at. So it's really nice. I really like the sun setting. I'm a sunset person. And so as you're running later into the evening, you know, you can just watch the sun setting. And it's just a really nice, pretty atmosphere of, of it getting darker out and being along the shoreline. It does get chilly. So if you're someone who thinks they're going to be out there, you know, past five, six o'clock, you might want to put some clothing, light jacket, gloves, a beanie, a hat in your special needs bag. So you can pick that up and wear that for, you know, the last eight miles of the run course. How would you describe the weather at that time of day uh, in the Ironman race, whether it's the wind, whether it's the sun, you know, um, the, heat, for me, humidity. for me again, that race day, it got, it was very sunny race day. It was just chilly. So by the time I got on the run course, um, you know, we're talking, I was running between three and 6 PM ish two to two to six sometime in the between there. Um, it was fifties high, maybe 60 at the start. And then it got to be low fifties at the finish. And then for people who are out there in the dark, you know, even with nice weather, it's probably going to be maybe high forties, low fifties. If you're out there, you know, towards, you know, past nine o'clock and like any Ironman, I always think that they can provide more light for those athletes who are out there in the dark just to provide a little bit more guidance feel like you're you're not out there alone because there's a little bit more lighting going on especially the the second half of the run course when you're kind of out that far but over in general it is flat it is flat you know you're not going to get any incline at all on that run course so which to me it makes it faster so i i really trained for this course so it was a very fast run for me at that time (laughs) 